Peg, you were great last night. You did what every man dreams his wife will do. You were asleep before I got home, and you were out of bed before I woke up. <laughs> How can I ever thank you? You could stop eating beans before bed. <laughs> hey, what's all this? I get breakfast, too. Oh, Peg! <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Ooh, spices, too. Do the kids know about this? No. Good. Bring it on. Uh, Al, honey? Yes, sweetheart? Uh, before I serve you, I, I have some great news. Oprah Winfrey finally exploded? <laughs> oh, no, Al. But that's so funny. You're just the greatest. <laughs> Who's coming to stay with us, Peg? Uh, just my mother. No! And my uncles, Irwin and Otto. No, no! And the wanker triplets. No, no, no! Oh, but, Al, they're my aunts. They're no trouble. Hey, God only knows how old they are, and they sleep in the same bed. <laughs> it's amazing. The triplets sleep in one bed, and your mother sleeps in three. Well, honey, they'll only stay for an undetermined period of time. Peg, now this is the first three-day weekend I've had in a year. It's not like I'm gonna have a good time. You and the kids are gonna be there. But not the wanker wagon from Milwaukee, Peg. Please, not that. <laughs> Hondo's gonna be on this weekend. Now, that's some of the Duke's best work. It's never on TV. I got a blank tape already. I want to watch Hondo, Peg. I want a clean tape of Hondo. No one is gonna interrupt you watching Hondo. Remember when they were here last year, Shane was on? Just before it came on, Uncle Otto bet Uncle Irwin he couldn't stick his head through the TV? I didn't see Shane that year, Peg. Well, I know, Al, but you saw the end from the emergency room. <laughs> Come back, Shane, Shane, goodbye, Shane. That's all I saw there. <laughs> I didn't even see the credits, because your mother lumbered in front of the set. <laughs> by the time her entire body chugged by, it was morning. You know, you should be nice to them, Al. After all, they're the only people in the world who think that what you do is skilled labor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you say, Al? Can my family come for a visit? Because they're on their way. <laughs> uh, since you went to all this trouble, why not? All right, where's breakfast? Gee, I don't know. I didn't cook anything. <laughs> well, that's the sound of the axle hitting the road. <clears throat> it means one of two things. Either everybody in China just jumped off a chair, or your family's here. <laughs> they brought the horse trailer. Your mom in there, Peg? <laughs> It's the only way that she can travel, Al. <laughs> Otto! Hey! Oh. Oh. Your home still looks like a filth hole. <laughs> Irwin! Oh. You've got a beautiful home. Oh. And Millie! Elena! Edie! You look fabulous. Oh. <laughs> Where's Mom? Oh, we're gonna have to leave her in the sun until she heats up and gets slippery. <laughs> that way we won't have to damage the truck getting her out. <laughs> Somebody left the WD-40 at home. Somebody didn't put it on the list. <laughs> How am I doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Now, uh, listen. Before the Festival of the Inbred starts, I want everybody to know that Hondo will be coming on. During Hondo, there will be no belly butting, no spitting for distance, and no one running around with underwear on their heads. We could have gone to a hotel. Hey, look who's here. Uncle Irwin. Otto. Uncle Otto. Oh. You look great. And you, my darling, I could sell you. <laughs> Let me tell you what the going rate is. <laughs> As you can see, Bud hasn't changed a bit. Same wit, same zit, same underwear. 